like to call the meeting to order. Um, see, yeah, let's see. I, as far as moving through, um, I have a chance to look at the uh, minutes from last two. Big point. Any problem? Move to accept. Second. Okay. Sounds like all four. So it's been approved, all right? Moving on to three. Uh, and three, I propose changes to the mission of the Cable Commission. Thank you for putting these together. We'll start. Yeah, you want to talk? Yeah, just a little Please. bit. Um, so Could you pull the microphone just a little bit closer to just the base? There. Certainly. So my intent in drafting these was to uh, really focus on the value to the citizens of Portsmouth, and namely that, you know, cable is a part of the last mile delivery of broadband services, but, you know, it seems like it's all connected in a lot of ways. So I made a change kind of the name of the commission just to say cable and broadband internet to include both and pulled out kind of the communications part of it, which would apply some kind of governance over telecommunication, you know, phone, video, yeah. or that audio. Um, the other changes, um, Really had to do with as well as the delivery, and I uh, I had some feed. Or, sorry, I don't know how to say this the right way. I heard from somebody that using the word "shall" instead of "may" or "may" instead of "shall" might give some flexibility, and I think we saw that in section. What was that? Um, so C C the commission. It's currently is, is a shot at you. Yeah, maybe you might place that with the word may, which gives us the option to pick things up or drop them, I guess, as we need to in that regard. Right. I don't know. I, I just. What's the difference? Legal. Shadow is a mandatory. Compelled. Right? Yeah. Days. Yeah. Option. Discretion. Okay. And I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 It just gives us some flexibility in case we get crunched. Right. Um, I will just say as an overall comment that this might be ambitious or aggressive, um, but at the same time, um, I kind of feel like the way this is working that you know we can we can treat these matters with discretion. If it becomes too overwhelming, then I guess we can I right. I think in addition to changing shall to may, um, it may just need another word or two to have it link better with the rest of the Senate. So the commission uh, like may consider the availability and quality of broadband and work to understand the needs and desires. Okay, that, I, I like that. So what did I say? No, yeah, may uh, consider, okay. consider the availability and quality of broadband internet services delivered blah, 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 and work and work to understand the needs and desires of citizens of the city of Portsmouth. Work with relevant and yep. Yeah. Oh, I see there's yeah, I was going for a very poor parenthetical there. So yeah. let's see. And on legal documents, you try to I guess with my wife is the English teacher. I look at that stuff. It's sort of a run on, but is that might be I, I personally prefer plain English. So that's why I was looking to see if maybe we add a, an extra. Uh, Breaking into a second sentence. Yep, yep. But I guess the question I would pose to the group would be. You know, is this too ambitious? Yeah. yeah. I, I, so you could almost put a period after the first Portsmouth. Yeah. And then say, further, the committee uh, may work with relevant providers to meet those needs and desires as appropriate as guided by the city council. Um, what did you think about the idea of, uh, and, and, and pardon my poor memory if it's already been considered a periodic meeting with maybe a member of the council to kind of get direction 
or is that something that's already in place or should we attend a city council meeting to make a report and say this is what's up and we would like direction on these issues so the beauty is because this is an ordinance change um it would be entirely appropriate for someone to draft for this committee really to adopt like a memorandum to go with this ordinance change recommendation and explain why we think it's there and do a presentation to the city council a brief one about says, the ordinance, change. About the ordinance so. change and then and then ask the question you know would the city council like to entertain a, you know adding a city council member or having a city council member come from time to time or a report or should we you know consider reporting back annually or we but don't have to come before them every time we have a franchise agreement, so they statutorily were required to go before them. Uh, but in the past, we really haven't had a lot of responsibilities other than the franchise agreement. Right. So there really isn't, I mean, to be honest, part of the reason it's lost membership was because I think in a lot of ways, some people moved away, but also it was just that there was, well, there wasn't a lot to meet them. Right. You know, uh, so with the change, we could potentially have more on our plate. I was kind of looking to provide for governance in the ordinance itself. In other words, right. to change the draft of the ordinance to provide some governance to say that on a certain period, you would get direction from the city council as to matters that are they consider to be important. And this kind of ties into you know, the as guided by the city council yep. statement there. So. Well, here's another suggestion. Um, the governance committee, which consists of councillors Cook, Tabor, and Lombardi, have been working diligently through all of the various committees. Um, they knew this one was a you know statutorily driven committee because of the franchise agreement, so they have not taken any public comment. One option is to take this draft and let's take it to the governance committee because. They are already dealing with governance, committee governance issues, and I'm sure they might have an opinion and suggestions on okay. how to, you know, potentially, you know, what their views might be and okay. making it a more useful committee, a more active committee, if that's the direction. Um, and they do tend to get public interest in that committee. So people have been coming up and, and weighing in um on committee structure so that might generate some conversation that would be useful in the community on on this topic so um given what we've just been talking about i'm thinking let's go to let's go to the governance committee i think they would be happy to um provide some input so here's here's where the cable commission thinks we might need to evolve uh, the mission and we're looking for other feedback on the inner party between the city council and the committee. I know they part of the reason they're looking for robustness in committees is so that committees can do the, some of the hard legwork and then deliver recommendations to the city council, but also so the city council has a venue by which when issues arise that may need more attention and they can give it on their Monday nights, that there's a forum for that. So, in the ideal world, the committees, if they're vibrant and functioning, you know, serving a function, because sometimes you just evolve out of the need, right? Um, and it's not a fault thing, it's just no longer needed because of the changing conditions or needs to be massaged, so to speak, to a new form. Um, you know, committees do do a lot of that legwork, they do the hard work of getting a draft agreement or developing a policy, making recommendations to the city council. And likewise, the city council, then when they hear something from a resident with an issue of concern, they have a place where it can go to get vetted and considered and talked about. Yeah, so, so if you're, um, I think if that works for you, you could take a formal action to move to you know, bring forward to the governance committee. Yeah, and that's their opinion. I, I, I like that. I don't know that, as I look at it, is that the franchise agreement, to be honest, is, you know, it, we don't always have a lot of say in what's going on. Right. And other than that, in the past, we really haven't had a lot. Whereas, 
as I look at that, this is pretty small, but it has an amount of lot that interfaces with the city council. That being said, as changes are made to um, to our uh, sorry, our, our definition of cable commission, um, I think that might we might have more yeah, but more responsibilities, which would then require on a more regular basis. I'd like to hear what they have to say. Yeah, good. But yeah. I think it's I think it, but at the same time, I don't think we should be. I think we should be leave more open and say, hey, what do you think? Do you like more? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Right. Well, so same thing. Um, you go to governance, and basically, even they would give us some framework as well in terms of. So you get the object index, you know, this is high level, uh, but we think you could do X, Y, Z, right? Okay. Yeah. So, let, let, let them lead us because they're under governance and, you know, we're accountable. So if anyone asks or public, so why you guys can't that? Well, we've got direction from the right. governance board that this is what we should be doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So do you want to make a summary of what's to make a motion to take this revised draft to the governance committee for comment and feedback? Okay. Uh, yeah. We have to work with council to, to, to take it as is, um, and see what the governance committee has to say, as well as you know, asking if they uh, would like or what their feelings are about having more um, regular dialogue between us and city council. Okay. Thank you. I'm that's all I'm thinking. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll clean up this draft with some of the language. I'll put I'll put a big draft watermark across it as well, and I will do a note to the governance committee on behalf of the committee to say, could you please um, put this on the agenda for your discussion? Yeah. Yeah. Put a little context in it. Just a quick question. Huh? So if I read this, it's physical only broadband, which means solid line broadband. Um, interesting. That was well, my intent. One thing, yeah, and I, I sort of thought, I think the definition of, and again, getting more technical, the definition of physical is you, you know, you've got, as far as networking goes, you have multiple layers. And the very first one is, is called physical because it's all about just a signal, either whether, whether it's carried in the traditionally has been carried on the line. However, that being said, I think you make a very good point that I brushed over, which was that, okay, does the normal population know that they don't really understand the you know, model? So the word physics so doesn't, doesn't physical or so maybe I'll try. Let's just hold it in the air. Right. So, so I mean but I thought you wanted to cover cellular. So the word physical technically does cover electromagnetic radiation. That is okay. physical. Okay. So, I mean, it's a, even though you can't see or touch it, it right. is physics right now. Yeah. That being said, for the layperson and to your guidance so that we should use simple English, then yeah, maybe we should add a word. I was just gonna, I'll put a parens, physical okay. transport, which includes cellular. Right, it includes well, what I would say. Actually, well, okay. maybe just cellular, because you, you can touch cellular. Okay. You know, Keep satellite. talking. Satellite. So I would say electromagnetic or, or physical cable or um, electromagnetic. So you, which people tell me over the air. Over the air. Or radio. Works. Over the air. Or over the air. Yeah. So it's it's wire or over the air. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then, however, what if they come up with quantum transmission? <laughs> well, so again, it comes with quantum. I think, mean, again, the layperson is going to is going to associate quantum with over. It's it's not a carried on a physical medium, so it is. The, it's it. So anything over the edge and wave. I know. Again, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm playing straight, man. So what I'll do is I'll clean this up, and I will send it to all of you for your but don't do reply all. If one of you sees Understood. that I have put the wrong, the comma in the wrong place or something, you can just email me back and say, or you spell, you know. You know you'll get it three times. And I'll, I'll get it. Great. <laughs> exactly. And that's okay. That's all right. Yep. But that way, in case it's not good. And then, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Now
Yeah, I believe it's time. So we're all good with the language now. Okay. <laughs> The next meeting of the governance committee, by the way, is July 25th at 10 a.m. Can one of you make that? If not, I don't have their dates yet for August. I could make that work if it's nobody else can. How long would it be? I, I guess, where would we be? I guess it's all in see. this room, typically. I'm um, just wondering, like, how. Obviously, we would be one it depends on where you are on the agenda. Um, oh, yeah, it's going to be more than an hour waiting around for them to get through. Right. You can also appear by Zoom. So, if you want to sit in your I'm office open right and now. wait, like, book it, nobody will book. So, yeah. I'm just offering. I'm we available. usually do two hours. I, I don't have anything at this point either. So, okay. I'm happy to. All right. So, maybe. Put it on, you know, put it on your calendars yes. and I'll check with uh, Councillor Cook, who's the chair of that, and see where she can put that in the agenda. So, we, are we get to this point? All right, so yeah. move on to uh, item four cellular coverage. I will report that my bandwidth has, <laughs> That's right. um, has been a little full up. So, I have the names of two of the carriers to contact people, but I didn't have a chance to start drafting anything. Um, but maybe we can get to that in the future. I know we're going to kind of work on something, or if you want to take a first shot at drafting while I keep chasing down. So, the gentleman, context. if I may, um, the gentleman that you put me in touch with, he, I never heard back from him. I want to hear more. He, he seemed like a potential member of this committee. Right? That's how I forward. interpret that interest, too. Right. So, I'll try to reach out to him as an action. Yeah. Again, and see if we can get him interested. Um, so I believe in my memory is for um, I think the idea was to see if we could get representatives to show up to us for a meeting, kind of present the concerns that we gathered mostly from ourselves about the limited coverage and data speeds and just see what they'd be willing to talk about in that regard. What, what are your challenges? Ask them yeah. more helpfully and just say, what have been your barriers? Is there anything we could do to help facilitate upgrading the service? You know, that kind of thing. If you approach it that way, see what they say. Okay. I think we can do that. You, you mentioned two names. What, what are the two carriers at this point? Um, it got me the, right, the contact we typically use for AT&T and the one for Verizon. But I think we'd want to have Sprint. And it has a lot of and carriers I here. T-Mobile use their carriers or I don't know. So that was a question mark that I had. I admit I don't have a lot of understanding right. of the market. Right. Is there people. anybody in the city who would understand all the towers and who owns them? Um, we know from the records and the land use side of it. Um, I don't know if Public Works might have a better list. 
it's quite likely too they're going to tell us to get stuck, not recognizing any kind of jurisdiction, but it doesn't seem likely they want to just anger anybody just to do that. Uh, the past, I think sometimes we're more proud of uh, the interests of the time. Right. But I don't ask, if you don't ask, you're certainly right. Not going to right. Stop. And the beauty is with the Zoom component, they don't necessarily have to come here physically. If they've got a government relations yeah. or a business person who can Zoom in for the meeting, doesn't even have to be local. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They just need to give us some, you know, contact so we can try and respond to these concerns that we've got. Let me check with the fire department too, because I know they've been exploring the, uh, you know, alternative carriers just because of the issues that they've been right. seeing. So they may have a bigger list. So did I take your meaning to be that you'd like somebody to help you draft a, an invitation? Yes, an invitation. I, I, I'll volunteer. Thank you. Um, I could use some help though. One thing it'd be nice if maybe enter invitation we get a kind of map of the city and yeah, with like some shaded areas and said this is what we oh, observe really? to be the problem areas. Oh, that's a good idea. And maybe um, that'll get their attention. I don't know. I I may let me check with public works because we might be able to help with that map. Maybe with the towers on these what do you call it? Yeah, I was just going to do an anecdotal map that says, right. for example, I had to unfortunately spend a little time at the hospital not too long, but while I was there, nothing. I mean, it was astounding. How could you be in front of a hospital and not have cellular coverage? It's insanity. It was terrible. Right. So yeah, anything we have to do, we have to give it context in terms of what point, what are we trying to solve? Yes. Right. You tell them, you know, we have you here because of this issue, primary coverage in those areas. Um, you know, and then I think that would open the door for even probably public comment, you know, people hear that, that's going on, it's like, I'm getting that. So the more we can get, at least that opens the door. That's right. For the discussion. So I see two issues. One is primary coverage, as you indicate, just signal coverage. But then the second, where you do have four or five bars or adequate signal strength, data speeds are distinctly heard at different times of the day. So you I could just the two yeah. issues. You could have five bars, but there's 200 people on it. Exactly. Right. So bandwidth. So those would be the kind of the two issues we present and the invitation would be we'd like to talk to you about maybe the challenges you would have in trying to look at upgrading the service and how we might help. Yes, that would be perfect. Can we just cap? We've got it on recording. That's it. <laughs> right. That's it right there. I don't think we need a formal vote. I think we just have to pull the actions from them. Okay. Right. Move forward. So we're done with plan four. Move on to five. Uh, any other business? No, I just have things that we can talk about under um, under our confidential umbrella okay. in terms of negotiations and Comcast specifically. Yeah. Just a quick, uh, quick question. <laughs> You know how we had issues with uh, you know, uh, X3T and PSA? Uh, I'm sorry, PHA. PHA, yes, yes, yes. yeah. yeah. Um, now, the visibility, when did it go up to like, you know, when X3T was basically saying, no, we can't do that? So, did it go to like the senior manager level or? Um, with Comcast, I typically work through just the government relations contact that we have, Jay Summers. Um, and then he moves it up through his organization. Um, but I don't actually have direct contact with those individuals typically. Now, was there, was there any discussion at the city level in terms of, you know, how do we prevent this from happening? Uh, meaning, like when we had all the kids exactly. home and yeah, yeah. I think that's a question that we should raise during negotiations. Negotiations, okay. Because I, I think it was a it was a big issue for us that the company didn't have the flexibility because right. that's really what it was right. um, mm -hmm. to work with us. And so I think that's a conversation we should 
an aspect we should bring up just to see if there's anything more that we can do. Because I'm sure we were not alone. In, right. Because like I was thinking about that, about you know, working in numbers, right? If, Say manager level, maybe the governance, and say, hey, this is the issues we are having, we need to like, come together and figure this out at some point. So, the chemist is the challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> at this same time, I guess, um, when we do have discussions, um, as far as franchising, because it is technically a cable TV franchising, <laughs> are we going to have any? Push back that hey, you know, we really don't want to talk about this because we want to talk about the say it's it's not a discussion that we're ready to make. I think that's a possibility and we can talk more about that and how we might work with that. All right. But I just want to get the sort of on the record for what I mean. Then I yeah. think experience has taught us that like when we are at least in the franchise agreement negotiations. They want to talk about cable TV and only cable TV. And maybe once we have um, an ordinance change where we have something at that point, but I don't know if at that before this is done, and maybe I don't know, would it help also to let Jay know, hey, there has been a change in the, uh, the ordinance so that we cover more than just cable TV? I don't know if that's, again, going to carry anything. I would suggest that that might affect his perception, but any good attorney would say it doesn't change it. I think there's a difference in, in, in between what the Comcast would be willing to put in a franchise agreement versus Comcast is responsive when we pick up the phone with other issues and, and at least listens because they do want to serve the community. Um, Maybe not as well as we would like them to serve it, but there is still a, an interest. So there's, a, you know, as you know, we don't have a franchise agreement with EverSource, but they still answer our phone calls and they work with us on issues that we have concerns with. So I think it's okay to raise those other issues. We just have to have expectations of how and to the extent they get, some, you know, yeah. resolved or responded to. Okay. Does that help? Yes. I mean, it's also the sort of thing that like, since this is now recorded. Yeah. That anybody who watches this later on, like, all right, as far as having expectations, here, right. well, just know that yes, they while well, they are responsive, I don't, I don't know, and I don't also want to refer to it as being pessimistic or pragmatic, but at least you know we're, we're bringing these up right. valid concerns. Yeah. So right. whether we're successful, we don't know, but these are valid concerns. Yes, and I think that's right. fairly stated that this can serve as a forum for valid concerns, some of which can. Be addressed in the franchise agreement, and some of which will not. So that's a good point. So I guess we move to move to move to go to private session. Yeah. Yeah. To non-public yeah. session for non purposes of discussion with the council, right. pursuant to ninety-one A three two L, and that's really for the record. All right. Thanks. So, all favor. Aye.